Hello and welcome to my review of this Zena or Zena Intelligent Security Disk Lock Alarm. This model is the XX14. Kind of means it's got the 14 millimeter locking pin in it. I'm going to do a bit of a review because I think bike security is important, and if you value your motorcycle you'll always put locks on it, alarms, whatever you can to protect it because not only is it worth a lot, uh, it might be your commuting bike or your mode of transport, your only mode of transport um, or you you build a connection with it. Uh, you might not build a connection with it but uh, this is just basically just in light of Chase on Two Wheels' his, uh, video where he, he's lost his third bike and uh, I think he, he's moved a few times as well, but he's never got a property with a garage. Um, even though he's got he's, he's moved to nicer areas, um, there's still not a garage. I, I'd always choose a property with a garage. But anyway, failing that, I'd get an alarm. And I wouldn't just get an alarm for one bike. I'd get an alarm for all my bikes, um, maybe even two per bike. Uh, because I do, I value my property and my possessions uh, among among a lot of other things and obviously being in the UK uh, don't really need to spend thousand two thousand dollars on a on a gun so hey just buy more security and things so anyway that's my little philosophical part out of the way with this is an excellent uh, lock why did I buy this well I already have uh, a different one. Well, it's a similar model, um, but it's a very small locking pin. I used it on my smaller bike. Uh, it never went off, which is a good thing. My bike was never tried to be nicked or 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 anything like that. It's in pretty beat up condition, but it's usable. It works. It has lasted all winter, and um, yeah, it's it's just it's that peace of mind, isn't it? That you got something that kind of is a first line of defence really. Uh, obviously the first line of defence is keeping your motorbike out of sight in a garage um, or under a cover, something like that. Um, I know you might love your motorcycle, I know it must be really nice to wake up, go outside and see it in all its glory, but uh, think of that feeling for, for thieves and criminals. They, they love that feeling just as much. And uh, so this is the first kind of like dif uh, line of defense it's a disc locking alarm system so you they both come with some keys you've got like a a key that kind of disables it and another key that helps you take out the alarm system but I won't show you that one but essentially you that's how you unlock it put a piece of paper over the alarm, over the infrared bit. Now it's activated. Okay, uh, and then you would lock that, and any movement and and such will will then trigger it. Obviously, the piece of paper had to be in there still for it to to go off, and the piece of paper purely there to symbolise your you know your, your disc brake uh, rim or whatever you want to call it, or just your disc brake. So uh, and then. That will give you a, a healthy beep to say that it's armed. Uh, you can push the button down and then it's you just leave it. Now any kind of motion or shock, such as someone trying to um, override the steering lock, will set it off. If you've got two of them on your bike, well, <laughs> excellent. They'd have to kind of disable the alarms before they you know, took away your steering lock. And even if they took away your steering lock, it won't be going anywhere because these pins stop the wheels from moving so they'd, they'd have to do an awful lot to try and get your bike and if you spent that much money and that much thought on it I'm pretty sure you're going to keep it out of sight as the first line of defense uh, and I'm not throughout this whole video I'm not going to give any criminals any kind of like extra ways to to get around people's motorcycles I think that's a bit beyond the point so I'm not going to say how to defeat these or how to defeat uh, lots of other ways but I'm just going to give you more 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 help so it's as simple as that really. It's powered by a single lithium CR2 battery, quite widely used. Their older locks used a button batteries or, or something like that and they were 
bit tr bit more tricky to hold. But the newer Xena locks, like this, I think this is an XX6 and that's an XX14, they use a CRT lithium. I haven't had it go flat and I've used it for almost a year now. So that's excellent. And when it does go off, it, it fires off a 120 decibel alarm, which makes your ears ring. It's, it's pretty horrific, pretty painful, as, um, as demonstrated by this bad boy. I swear this one's louder, but uh, I've, this one is very, very touchy in that it will, it will like to activate um, on its own now and again when you, when, you put it on, when you activate it on the motorcycle. But you can keep that on. Uh, it, obviously it says alarm um, and then it gives them a little bit of information about what's, what's it's, what it has in it but I may well remove that at some point. So they're the dislock alarm systems. The only problem with these is you've really really got to be on the ball uh, after a long day at work or first thing in the morning you've got to really think about whether you've got them on. If you always think that you've got them on always look for them. All right, don't just get on your motorcycle, start it up and go, oh, I've got to warm it up and then go because this will swing round and it will destroy your your brake calipers and, um, yeah, you, you're not going to be going anywhere that day. So uh, you can do that a number of ways. If you're quite forgetful or whatever, you can get a little piece of uh, paracord or whatever, orange fluorescent, whatever, and put it through there or even through that little bit there and uh, attach it to the handlebars then you'll know that oh crikey there's something on here and you'll you'll always take it off I've never had any problems touch wood so that's great it's really up to you how you wanna um, layer your security system for your motorbike if you've got many many different things and like I said keeping it out of sight is, is the first line of defense and it's probably most of the time the best line of defense um, because they just don't know it's there or they don't know what, what is under the cover and things like that. Uh, you know, but what you do is for this system, you turn the screw like so and it's double locking so it goes in and then turns and then turns again. Uh, you can put this on the front or, or rear. And then you, so you didn't see that but before I basically drop this camera on the floor, um, you you kind of turn the key at the same time. You've got to turn it a couple more times, and uh, yeah, you'll you'll um, you'll activate. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, so that was me just um, activating the actual alarm then, or by accident. Hopefully, that's probably woken up a few people by accident. But it's so easy to activate, which is a good thing. So you get a large beep, and that's activated it. Uh, and then it's good to go really, uh, any movement of the bike will set it off and it's bloody loud, definitely attracts some attention. So yeah, these locks, uh, they're not the be all and end all, they're not going to st completely stop a, a motorcycle being stolen. If they want to get your bike, they will do, but the more things you have on there, the more of a deterrent it is and, and I fully support uh, you know, deterrence for, you, for your property because people that steal things scum of the earth really not even worth the oxygen that they steal from you um now these will these they're not, they're not that expensive price wise they i think that one was about 50 something i think that one's about 60 ish so you're not paying over 100 quid and in dollars it's probably equates to about 50 or 60 dollars um for for the lock so you're not spending and a huge amount of money and if your bike is only worth a few hundred dollars or a few hundred quid then you might have a, a more you know a more emotional investment um with with your bike uh, than than the, the the price of it if they sell all the parts so again it depends you've got to weigh that up is it worth getting one of these because you know they might try and take it and it'll set this off at least your neighbors will hear it at least you know somebody will hear it and somebody will will wonder what's going on and obviously the criminal will think oh crikey what, what's happening how do I stop this alarm you know I, I can't stop it without taking it off and I can't take it off so these are the uh, alarm systems that I have as well as many others and uh, I just fully recommend them I mean they are they are incredibly excellent pieces of kit you just got to remember that they're on that's 
a good thing that they're alarmed then because if you were to get the kickstand up, start your motorcycle a little bit, that should be enough to trigger them anyway. So just bear that in mind. But they're fully weather resistant, ice proof, glue proof, you name it, and the batteries on them last ages. The big difference between the, the little one is obviously a 6mm locking pin and that's got a whopper. Look at the difference of that. It's a whopper. It's a 14mm uh, locking pin. This is double locking as well. I'll just show you. So you can see there. So it goes in, locks, and then the key goes up in another way, uh, all, all the way around. So that's one lock, two lock. There you go. So double locking. And yeah, it weighs a ton. It's weigh, it probably weighs about nearly 600, 700 grams. So yeah, a bit more than a UK PK, but still. This is a bit lighter, and if you're a scooter owner or 125 owner, definitely recommend this one because it's a bit, bit, bit cheaper. Uh, you've only got one lock, uh, but the locking pin is very decent, decent size, and that's you know that's all you need, and you can fit that in in your little um, box on your scooter or. Or it can even fit in the uh, underneath the pillion seat on a on my CBR one two five that I had, so I didn't really need to carry a bag and put this in. And um, whereas this one won't fit under the pillion, it's a bit 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 bigger, bit chunkier. And um, I mean, you can carry it on the frame of your bike, like uh, a couple of YouTubers do. Uh, I think premises might might have a video where he reviews this or shows shows you this premises 187 go check out his his channel um but yeah so you you can carry it on the on the frame and it won't activate as long as there's nothing in in between the infrared you'll you'll be fine it, it won't go off as you're braking for lights or anything like that anyway that is my review uh i'll put a link to their website uh, down below i did purchase these um, I wasn't giving them for free. I don't get anything for free on my, on my channel. I hope you uh, realise that now. But uh, yeah, go check out their website and um, you know, tell me what you think. Obviously, there are other manufacturers that make make um, disc lock alarms. Uh, one one of the most famous uh, being is it Master Lock, someone like that. Uh, I think they're they're pretty decent. So uh, check check out all the competitors and watch other reviews. But I hope this review has helped you today. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Take care.